Hey everybody, welcome back to Broken ISP. Today we're going to be going over how we changed my ugly desk into this beautiful work of art that we now have in here. It's just absolute amazing transformation, a beautiful upcycle. Don't forget, by the way, to like and subscribe. Let's get started. So today we're over at Lowe's. We're going to be going and setting up to redo my terrible desk that I have. We've got a beautiful half inch maple board uh, to start off with. So let's see what happens. And here's a beautiful shot of the maple hardwood plywood that we picked up from Lowe's. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sand down the edges. So this way we can make a nice smooth surface for the edge trim that we're going to be putting on here. And now for the edge trimming, also known as veneer. So the main thing about veneer is you want to make sure that you get it really, really straight. So right here you can see us going and getting it all lined up. We're going to lip on each side of the plywood. We picked this up from the local Rockler for about 15 bucks. Pretty good deal. As you can see, the application is pretty easy to put on. And just go straight down and take it all the way to the end. Now we're going to use our veneer cutting tool that we also got from Rockler and just go straight down the board until we get a nice clean cut on both sides. This saves a lot of time because it's double sided. And this is basically what it looks like in comparison to what the plywood would look like otherwise. So you can see the veneer matches right in with the wood layer on the top and just looks absolutely beautiful. Now we're just going to go ahead and sand down the plywood top. So this way we have a beautiful surface that's nice and smooth to work with right off the bat. This is maple by the way. And we're using 1500 grit for the first sand and then 3000 for the second sand. It was already sanded really well to begin with so this wasn't that big of a deal to start off with such a high grade. And now we're going to go ahead and get our staining in. It's a little cold this night, so it's a little bubbly if you notice. I'm just going to go ahead and go over the entire top of the board. And then get the edges, which yes, the edges are stainable. Then we're going to wipe down the board to get rid of any debris that might have fallen on there overnight. and then start polyurethaning. You should always polyurethane in the direction of the grain, even though in here I actually wound up doing a little back and forth because I was flood coating. And then you can, if it's low enough temperature, actually do a little bit of patchwork like I'm doing here. And then just follow up by going all the way through. Then here we're gonna go ahead and do the shelves that are gonna be included with the desk. We get some poly on those. We stained those last night as well. And just finish up the edges. And you get a beautiful set of shelves for pennies on the dollar. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's a little shot of them. Now it's time to go and clean up the disaster I jokingly call my desk. This took a little bit, but uh, after we get everything removed, we're going to get a chance to go and see what the actual top will look like in reality. And then right here we have a neat view of what the desk looked like before we read at it. As you can see, all the MDF with their generic laminate just really pretty terrible 
well, veneer, whatever. Now we're going to go ahead and disassemble the desk. So we're just going to take out the manufacturer screws that uh, they had in there. And start ripping off the panels. Which come off pretty easy. Now we're just going to go ahead and disassemble the keyboard tray so that way we can get this ready to be recycled onto the new desk plate. And then we're going to go ahead and level the plates that we're putting back on here to make sure that they're level with the back of the desk and have a little gap on each side. That's really super important. Now we can go ahead and use a pencil to draw the holes or where we're going to be putting the holes. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some tape around the drill bit so this way we don't go too deep and that's measured out to the depth of the threaded insert that we're going to be using in here that we actually got off from the old desk plates that were on here. Just going to get that right down to the board level. Perfect. Now we're going to take our threaded insert and an Allen key and just very simply Screw them right in. Since they thread themselves, we don't really have to do any special prep to the hole. Now we're just going to go ahead and install the rest of the desk plates for this side of the desk. And just screw those right in. And they insert just like the factory ones do. Now it's time to go and put that keyboard drawer on that we took off earlier onto the new plate. And this takes a little bit of measuring to make sure everything goes right. But for the most part this is pretty easy. Now we're just going to put uh, our drill bit case here on the bottom so this way we can just simply insert this panel, which of course is going to be the keyboard drawer, and keep it lifted up and steady while I go put the screws in the bottom. All right, and the keyboard drawer is installed. Time to flip this over and connect it to the desk. Let's get this board lined up and get the screw in, and we're done with this part. Moving right along, now we're going to go ahead and put up our shelf holders. Let's draw some holes on the wall there. When we measured this all out ahead of time, you probably can't see the little lines on the wall, but we had some on there just to make it easier to go and line up everything. Just going to get the screws installed and then just drop these right on. 
We just picked these up over at the Home Depot for a few bucks. Not bad. We're just gonna drop our board right on top and that'll lock right in up there. And then we're just gonna go and put in our final screws to make sure it's all completely locked in place. We don't want any of those boards falling off on our heads. That wouldn't be fun. And then this is what it came out looking like. Hey all, I hope you guys enjoyed our video on the little desk uh, upcycling that we did. Uh, I know we had a lot of fun going and building this. Uh, it's uh, This is probably a few weeks later after we got done doing it and uh, it's nice, it's sturdy, it's still very beautiful. Uh, we've even had uh, water on it and uh, none of those ugly little pock marks that you saw earlier in the video on the uh, MDF board. Uh, definitely a major upgrade for this desk. Uh, you figure we took a $100 desk and we just literally racked it up to what you probably would pay over at what, like Office Max, probably like four or $500. And I think we spent a whole of like $60 on the whole thing. And I'll put some links down in the description uh, down below in regards to uh, what we did use in order to be able to get the desk going. But anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got more DIY videos uh, coming up. Matter of fact, I'm working on editing some right now. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like button.